Hi, this is Joachim for statisticalprogramming.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the dim function in R. So first of all let's start with the basic syntax in R. Um, if you want to run the dim function in R you have to write dim, open a bracket and insert into this bracket the name of a data frame. Typically this would be something like my data or data or something like that. And uh, what the dim function does is it returns the dimension of your data. So usually this would be the number of rows and the number of columns of your data. I'm going to show you that based on an example with a real data set. And uh, for the example I'm going to use the empty cars data which can be loaded with this code here. So let's run the code. As you can see, after running the code, the data appears up here on the top right. And uh, we can also have a look at the data. So um, here you can see that the data set consists of several cars. And for each car, the data uh, provides different information stored in several variables. Now, if we want to know the dimension of this data set, we have to apply the dim function as I have shown you before. So write dim, open a bracket, and then insert the name of this data set into the bracket. So in this case, the data is called empty cars. So we simply have to write empty cars into this bracket. Then run this code. And after running this code, the R Studio console returns two values. And uh, what you have to remember is that the first value that is returned by the dim function is the number of rows of our data. So in this case, we would know that the empty cars data set has 32 rows. And the second number that is returned by the function is the number of columns. So in this case, we would know that the empty cars data set consists of 11 columns. Yeah, so that's basically how to use the dim function in R. But uh, if you need more examples for the dim function, you could also check out my homepage, statistical-programming.com because recently I have published a new post on the homepage in which I'm explaining the dim function in much more detail and in, and in which I'm also providing more examples for the dim function. So if you want to have a look, I will put a link to the post into the description of this video. And uh, if you have liked the video, of course, I would appreciate if you write me a comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R tutorials.